Hello to all physics and physical experiment enthusiasts. With you, Alexei Kolchin, and today we will talk about Ohm's law for a complete circuit and about the internal resistance of the power source. And for this objective, we have gathered this uncomplicated electric circuit comprising of a battery, a light bulb, and a switch. And the voltage on the battery is measured by a voltmeter. And now, when the circuit is open, the voltmeter shows 4.5 V, and when the circuit is closed, it shows than when open. Where do 0, 7 V go when circuit closes? In this diagram, the battery is depicted by this red outline. And in electrical engineering, it is considered that a battery consists of two elements connected in series. First, this is the origin of electromotive force. And second, this is the resistance within the source. When circuit is open, voltmeter shows battery's electromotive force, in our experiment 4.5V. And when circuit is closed, voltmeter does not display any reading. An electric current passes through it. At this juncture, the voltage experiences a partial decrease across the bulb and a partial decrease across the internal resistance, resulting in a division of the voltage drop. And the sum of these voltages is exactly equal to the electromotive force of the battery. And thus it turns out that the voltage on the bulb is lower than the electromotive force. And those same loss 0.7V are dropped on the internal resistance of the battery. Close the circuit. Voltmeter reading decreased by 0.8 volts. And the emitter shows the current 0.56 amperes. To find the internal resistance, we should divide the voltage 0.8 volts by the current 0.56 amperes, which gives 1.25 ohms. And this is the internal resistance of our battery. And now I can state Ohm's law for the entire circuit. The electromotive force of the source is equal to the combined value of the voltage drops across the external and internal resistances. If each voltage drop is replaced by the product of current strength by the corresponding resistance, then it follows that the electromotive force is equal to the product of current strength by the total resistance of the circuit. We determine the internal resistance of the source by measuring the current and voltage across it. But it turns out that it is possible to do with just measuring the voltage. The load resistance and the internal resistance of the source are connected in series. So the EMF is distributed proportionally to these resistances. If the voltage U decreases across the load resistance, then the electromotive force U decreases across the internal resistance of the circuit, as dictated by Ohm's law. And we can establish a proportion of the internal resistance to the load resistance that is equal to the ratio of the EMF U to the voltage U. And based on this proportion, we can express the internal resistance and calculate its value. I built a circuit with a 110 ohm resistor as a load for measurement, assembling a measuring circuit. And when I push this red button, the station will begin recording a graph of the dependence of the internal resistance of the battery on time. And here we see that at the start, the internal resistance was 0 0.8 ohms, and after 10 seconds, it was already 1.3 ohms, thereby increasing by more than one and a half times. Why does the internal resistance of the battery increase over time? Write your thoughts on this matter in the comments to our video on YouTube.